So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the G99 uh, application process. So I've signed the solar contract, I sent all that off. I've paid an initial uh, deposit up front, a small deposit, and the rest is going to be paid uh, upon completion when everything's installed and working. So the next phase for me is to um, apply for G99 to my DNO or my energy network. Uh, for me in the east, it's UK power networks. Now, basically, what I've done is I've uh, sent over a letter of authority to my uh, solar installer so that they can handle um, all of the details about the G99 on my behalf. Um, but they've also then, after I've done that, they've then come back with a number of questions for me, a bit of information they need to know uh, in order to complete the application. And I'll just tell you about that information right now. So the first thing they're looking for, other than the letter of authority that you have to sign and date, is basically a sample picture of um, the fuse box, basically the outside uh, fuse itself, whether you've got a, say, a 60 amp or a 100 amp fuse, just like this, and also about the earthing and things like that inside your meter box. So we need some clear images of the insides of your meter box. Next, they want a picture of your actual fuse box or consumer unit that's inside your house so that they can clearly see all of your fuses and the ratings on those. Next, they wanted me to confirm my NPAN number, M-P-A-N number, basically to make sure that was correct so that that goes onto the uh, form. And finally, they wanted to know if I had any other um, high output electrical items um, such as an electrical charge point for my car, EV charge point, uh, whether I've got vehicle to grid, I wish, uh, an air source heat pump, uh, a ground source heat pump, or any other storage that's already connected to um, a PV solar system. Obviously, I don't have one yet, but uh, if I already had, I'd have to kind of mention that. And they wanted to know makes and models and all of the kind of uh, power specifications for that as well. So it's not a really long mega list. Uh, it's not too bad to go out and do a few photos, a little bit of research, and you'll be able to uh, offer up those details. Then hopefully, once you've submitted all that, your supplier will uh, do the G99 form for you. And then it's a matter of sitting and waiting. Now, I think the statutory wait time is about 45 days um, that you have to wait. So some people can get them sooner than that, two weeks. Some people can wait four to six weeks. So we'll just wait and see what happens, really. So why do I need to fill out a G99 form and get approval from my DNO? Well, the reason really is because of so much power coming from the setup that I want. So basically what I'm having is I'm having a solar edge uh, five kilowatt inverter on the solar side, and then I'm having um, an inverter on the battery side for the give energy battery as well. So basically those added together mean that I kind of need to have uh, G99 approval. So there's various setups that would kind of make you need G99 and others that wouldn't. So if you didn't need it, then installation could proceed a lot quicker. Right, so it's been six weeks and my G99 has been approved, literally six weeks to the day. Now that's going to vary between, or well, depending on what uh, where you live and what power network uh, you use, I believe, because they could all work at different speeds. But in the east for UK power networks, it's taken six weeks to get approval. And now the solar installers have uh, put aside a week for me uh, to do the install, and they're basically going to do it next week. So I hope you liked that video. If you did, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I'll be putting out lots more solar videos.